I will open it up um, to questions. Coach, uh, two things. Number one, that third quarter it, yeah. it just got away from you. Number two, I was really looking forward to seeing Destiny Thomas on, on the board. Why, why was she not able to go tonight? So, number one, you're right. We lost it in the third quarter. Um, when you go, we score uh, 34 to, to 10 in the, in the third quarter when it came to points. We let Sarah get away from us in transition. Um, and she hit some key, key baskets. And I felt like our momentum just never got the same. Um, as far as Thomas not playing, it was a coach's decision. Tennessee has had a lot of players in and out, and obviously are you know, without Tamari Key, Ricky Jackson didn't play much tonight. Was it difficult game plan a little bit, not knowing what players were going to play a lot of minutes and who you really have to prepare for? For me or oh, Tennessee, is that what you said? Um, um, no, you know what? We, in our practices, we have different matchups and lineups that are uh, practicing together. So, um, no, it wasn't. I figured with us, the type of team we have collectively, everyone has to score this season. So, um, we as a coaching staff kind of go with the hot players. We know what to get, do, and as far as getting them ready to roll and scoring. Um, but a great, great job by. Uh, I want to say Coach Jolly because I played against Kelly back in the day, but Coach Harper and her team. For both players, Amaya uh, and Layla, is that? Yes, ma'am. Pronounced correctly, <coughs> okay. The, this, that's a, the third quarter, I want to ask from your point of view too as players, just, just what got away from you in the third quarter after playing so well in the first half? Uh, just to piggyback on Coach Master, like Puckett definitely got out and hit like two big threes to put them up, and that's just where we lost our momentum. We lost her in transition, and she she just made shots. So, you know, saying it was the uh, transition shots, and then after they started hitting a few back to back, it just kind of got hot, and it took us too long to rebound from it. Another question uh, for Coach, the rebounding, you were leading it at halftime, and then what, I mean, it's hard to keep Tennessee off the glass. Just what did they do in that second half? To I, make, I to think, that um, good question. We were proud when we told our players at halftime, hey, way to go to the boys. We feel like we did a, a great job. I think the, the opportunity to throw different bodies at us um, in the rebounding, and they just, they just, Franklin came in, had four offensive rebounds right there in a row and that toughness. And, um, and so I think that was the difference, you know, in, in the second half is they threw a lot of different bodies at us and they crashed the boards. I think it, it had to be a point of emphasis for them to, uh, to box out. And uh, so I think that was key for us. We didn't get on the boards the way we wanted to and the way we had done in the first half. Okay. Uh, for both players, obviously, you know, the first half was very competitive. You guys are right in it. What can you kind of take away from that moving into the rest of the season if you're playing a team like Tennessee? Um, I feel like a big thing in our first half was, of course, the rebounding. We all contributed to rebounding. And then it was just like everybody was chipping in scoring wise and like helping on defensive wise. We just played more together as a team in the first half, and that's what we can take into the rest of the season. One last thing for, for Layla. Y'all have had some tough games. Would you rather do that? You know, go to, I think you went to Auburn. It was, it was there, wasn't it? Yes, and it was at Auburn. come here to Tennessee, would you rather have that kind of schedule to just sort of measure and see where you are at, at this point in time of the season? Oh, for sure. Um, Coach Messer put a great schedule up, so I think, you know, playing Auburn and Tennessee was a really good challenge for us just to see where we're at. So I would definitely say that, yeah. And just to piggyback on that a little bit, what Layla was saying is that's the way we schedule it. You know, we want to see uh, where we are right now because the most important thing for us is our conference, and we want to be ready to roll. We have um, two games coming up at home before Christmas um, that we want to regroup in the next couple of days and get ready. They're, they're, going, they're not going to be easy either, and we just uh, have to do what we, what we can to get this team rolling and our chemistry together when it comes on January 3rd, which is our first 
conference game. Oh, sorry, one more for Coach. This is a non-Tennessee question. I know you were at Baylor yeah. before you came to be the head coach at UCF. The news about Brittany Griner coming home, yeah. just what was your reaction to that? Tears. Tears. I teared up, and I was so happy that finally we got her home. Um, I didn't have the opportunity to coach Brittany as I was coming in at Baylor. She was leaving, but I met her many, many times and had conversations with her. Uh, and her wife is from Arkansas. I know her wife, and it's just um, happy that she's home. And I just hope that she begin the healing process and know that this, this country, um, this women's basketball community, were right behind her. And I was happy to see her home. Thank you. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Thank you.